This is my Moro di Caneva. Uh, I bring it, bring it inside because of the rain. Um, this is the second uh, fruit that this one uh, had ripened this year. Um, I put pollen on this one. I don't know if it is uh, okay. if it is um, caprify. I doubt it because I was in August 13. Um, oh, I damaged the neck there. So I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to to break to break it in the middle. Moro di Caneva. This is, was a cutting that I cut from Harvey of Fig Hollies, and this looks beautiful inside. It looks super, super nice. I don't want to drop this one. This. I'm going to collect uh, some seeds to see if they uh, float or they go down in the water. I want to check if it is caprify. So let me see how it tastes. Mm. My God. Really, really good. Divino, it's, it tastes really, really, really good. This is a very productive um, tree, um, and, it, and I think it's early because um, this is a graph from February, and it uh, put a lot of figs, uh, and then it was late. Uh, it put the fit late, pretty late, and. It's ripening fix, so I think this is a um, keeper, you know, very productive. And her taste is good. This this one tastes better than the other that I taste. I don't know if if because it's copy fire or something. I I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna test the seeds to see if they sink to the bottle in the in the water. And check if it is caprify. There was no caprification. I put uh, some of the pulp here, and you see the seeds floating in the water. So no caprification here. It's good that I just use um, half. A quarter of the half because it tastes really good. I don't want to waste this. I want to eat this because it's really good. Mm. It tastes really, really good. So, color, nice color inside. I thought it was caprified, cap but nope. Look at the seeds there. Thank you.